Hi guys, welcome back to Comfy Compositing. Let's talk about AI crowd generation. In this video, I'll show you how I generated a fully animated stadium crowd using AI, upscaled it, fixed the frame rate, and then composited a real soccer player shot on green screen inside Nuke using a workflow that actually fits into a VFX pipeline. Quick disclaimer. This workflow is based on my own testings and research. AI tools move fast, models change often, and settings that work today may need adjusting tomorrow. This isn't a magic button, it's a controlled workflow. As we know, crowd shots are expensive. Extras, logistics, continuity, motion repetition, all of it adds up. Traditional crowd tools work great, but they are heavy, time-consuming, expensive, and often overkill for background and mid-ground shots. The challenge here was simple. How do you go from empty bleachers to a believable animated crowd without breaking the comp and without any flickering? So here is the process. Let's dive in. We begin with a simple image to image workflow. I have taken a Flux2 workflow, which is great at image generation as well as editing. So we start by taking a single frame of our background with empty bleachers. I'm using Flux2 for this since it is great for image generation as well as context editing. So I'm using the Flux Dev FP8 model with uh, Mistral 3 clip as well as Flux 2 VAE. Over here, I add a detailed prompt of what I would like to add to the image. So I added uh, a prompt that I want a, a variation of the crowd. The crowd is cheering, holding flags, wearing sports jerseys of red and white color. And then I also had to change the K sampler settings since my output was very saturated. So I found for this case DPMPP2M SDE works great. I had to go through almost all of them to find a good working one. Um, once you have it, you'll have something like this where a lot of the details are missing, as you can see. The faces are slightly blurry and distorted. Now, every time I generate an image or do any image to image work, I always upscale and resample it again. And here is why. Let's say we have a CG crowd. We can see with a little bit of uh, upscaling and denoise, the results are fantastic. We get a lot more detail and realism. And this is very important for high quality output. Let me show you how you can do this. So you load your favorite model. For example, I'm using Z Image Turbo BF16 here. This is great for realistic look. And I'm using Quen 34B clip with this and the regular AEVAE. So you simply load the image and then most important is reduce the denoise value. And in this case, I am doing a denoise of 0.45. This will not generate the image completely, but take the image that you uploaded and then resample that. So over here, uh, based on my input image, which is this, I simply add a short text prompt. For example, a photo of a man wearing a denim jacket, white shirt with a yellow logo and beige pants. And then when we play, oh, also, I also upscale this using an upscale model and I'm using 4X FFH QDAT safe tensor because this one is very good for human images. And then you can see the output. It's night and day. 
So yes, this is my tip. Every time you generate an image, please upscale and resample it. And you don't need to denoise all the way to um, 0.45 or 0.5. Even a value of 0.15 works wonders. So once you're happy with this, we go into our one 2.2 image to video workflow. This is the default workflow setup. I'm using the same one 2.2 14B high noise and low noise, as well as the Litex V2 four step speed up LoRa. And then I give a detailed prompt of what I would like to see in the video. I mentioned the camera movement, I mentioned the crowd movement, the flag, etc. Once we have this, we queue and we get a very good looking result. Um, you can also queue multiple outputs, let it cook over the night and check it out in the morning. You'll have a bunch of different outputs to pick from. Once you're happy with the output, um, you come in and frame interpolate it from 16 FPS to 24 FPS for buttery smooth movement. Um, this is a very straight workflow. I guess I don't need to explain it, but it's only three nodes, load video, rife, and video combine. And then we go into the next is video upscale model. So in this one, using Seed VR2, I upscale from 720p to um, 1080p or 4K. You can do um, 4K at max, I think. Um, I've done 4K and the output is very good. Um, yeah, so once you're uh, done upscaling, uh, we go into Nuke. And then here is my simple workflow. Let's check out the output again. As you can see, it looks pretty good. And this whole process was done in less than a day. Uh, most of the time I spent was rendering image to video in one 2.2. Um, otherwise, uh, it didn't take that long. And then here is the breakdown. So here is the empty stadium and then the crowd and then the soccer player and then the final comp and i'll show a quick workflow for nuke so here is the guy i do a quick denoise and then i make a clean plate using ibk color and then i do a key and then we get a very good alpha but even then i'm using a primat just to fill any holes if there are and then i also do a little bit of despill and then i pre melt and minor edge extend i would not do such heavy edge extend when i'm at work but for this workflow i think this is okay and then stencil out the extra stuff and then do an animated denoise and then for the background, I bring in the background, do a very basic color correction. And then again, the opposite denoise that I did on the guy, as I want to show the follow focus from the crowd to the foreground character. And then a little bit of uh, vignetting. And then I merge them, regrain them, and then output. So yeah, this is the workflow. And uh, please try this out. And I hope you learned something from this YouTube video. And please give a like and let me know in the comments what do you think of it. Thank you.